All right, Hayes Omega is proud to announce that the KLX 140 is ready to be reassembled. <laughs> so I've been working on this for more than a week so far, and uh, and in this video we can finally start putting stuff back together. So uh, so if you remember, let me just do a recap. Um, we prepped the cylinder. We just I just kind of very lightly cleaned the surfaces, the, the gasket mounting surfaces, and we cleaned the bore with oil. To, there was a little bit of rust in there. Um, I guess it's not really a big deal. It's, it wasn't like super rusty or anything. Um, we installed the oil pipe and the dowels. I think dowels, one of them is in here. Yeah, one of them's in there. Um, so cylinder's ready to go in. Uh, before I even started working on the bike, we had prepped the piston. Uh, we we checked the piston ring end gaps, and they were all okay. We found out that the first and second ring are on the looser end of the spectrum, while the oil rings were in the middle, so everything everything was fine, so I didn't have to do anything with piston rings other than install them, and we did install them. I may have to reclock it when I come back, um, when we actually reinstall the cylinder, but it's cool. Um, and then I got all the parts laid out on the table here. Uh, the next part was to clean the cylinder head, and we did a port and polish on this guy. That was the that was in the last video. So there it is. Um, oh well. Anyway, you can't see it because I had the intake manifold, but you can see the exhaust. There's the exhaust. The port and polish. A little a light port and polish, not not something too crazy, you know. Um, and then we cleaned the gasket mounting surface area. And the combustion chamber it looks pretty damn good now I think there's still some carbon on the on the exhaust uh, exhaust valve but I can't get it off it's like it's like baked onto there really good it's okay tried my best I try to scrape it as good as I could uh, oh yeah also we're missing one 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 other part aha there it is the camshaft so this is our our uh, performance camshaft that we got with the SX parts kit um, we had to press the bearings on here, so and the bearings are on there. Should be good. They look nice. Um, yeah. All right. So, so yeah, that's all the parts right there. Um, this is the last one to be installed, so we'll just put it back in the dirty underwear. Yeah, that'll be the final one to put in. Um, all right. So let's get to it. So this is a. Uh, we're finally going to start reassembling it. All right. Let's make out. Okay, so the first thing to do uh, from reassembling is to put the last thing that we took off the bike was the piston. So the first thing we're going to put back on is the piston. So uh, so the piston's got all the rings and everything. It's ready to go in, except I didn't install the snap ring. Um, I could If I wanted to prep a little more, I could have put one of the snap rings in. Um, it's easier to do it outside the bike um, for the first one. The second one, you have to do it on the bike. So um, that's going to be the tricky one because you don't want to lose the snap ring. It's very small. So there's the snap ring. Here's the wrist pin. Um, it did come with a brand new one, so we will be using the new one um, for whatever reason. You know, I, I'd imagine they gave us that one to go with that piston. So we did find out it's a little thinner than the stock one, but I don't think that's a big deal. I hope. Um, all right, so here in engine top end 4 29 in the Kawasaki KLX 140 service manual you'll find uh, cylinder and piston installation. So we'll just go through this. Uh, if a new piston or cylinder is used, check piston to cylinder clearance and use new piston ring. So we did, and I think the clearance is fine. It should be fine. Um, uh, I checked that before. Uh, apply engine oil to the inner surfaces of the connecting rod, small end. So uh, there should be oil there. We're not going to install it quite yet. Um, the exhaust mark on the piston head must point towards the front of the engine. So on the piston here, you see exhaust right there, e EX on the left. So that's this is the front of the engine. So the way the bike is pointing right now would be like that. Okay. Uh, okay, fit a new piston pin snap ring into the side of the piston so that the ring opening does not coincide with the slit 
of the piston pinhole. So what they're saying is, um, okay, so okay, this that's the part we're going to do right now. Um, and it says, do when installing the piston snap ring, compress it only enough to install it, and no more. That's why, so you don't warp it or anything, and so it doesn't walk its way out. Um, it's kind of like a, it's a spring clip, is what it is. And if you if you compress it too much, it may not go back. So as much as possible, we'll try not to do it <laughs> to compress it. And it says, caution: do not reuse snap rings as removal weakens and deforms them. They can fall out and score the cylinder wall. That would be bad. You don't want that. So here are the piston uh, snap rings. Um, this is the wrist pin right here. And um, so what they're saying is, so see how there's there's an opening. It's like a C-clip. Yeah, there's a C-clip. You want that opening to not be, to at least not be where the this guy is, this little, this guy right here. You don't want to be it to be near there and surprising thing is uh, the stock piston was very close to it very close um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it in the 12 o'clock position that's I watched a Wysico piston uh, ring piston snap ring install and they said to either you should install it like at 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock 6 o'clock is down here on the bottom so it's pretty it would be pretty close to the opening here so we're gonna do 12 o'clock it would make it harder to install in the future uninstall but that's fine whatever so, all right, let's go and do that first. Um, so we're going to do the first one offside the bike. He's like, is hoping he can do this without um, without any, uh, any tools. I, d I watched a bunch of videos on how to do it, so hopefully, hopefully we can get it. But uh, just in case, I will go get a uh, I will get a small screwdriver. Move snap rings out. Piston, wrist pin. Right. Okay, I got this itty bitty screwdriver to help us if we need it, but I don't think we'll need it. Uh, what we'll do is install the one on the right side first, because we'll put the piss, we'll put the wrist pin in from the, we'll work from the left side of the bike. So what we want to do, so see, there's a little, there's a groove in there, and that's where we got to get the rings on. Um, and we're going to install it like this, 12 o'clock. So here goes. Watch Hades Omega struggle. Um, I got a chair for me to sit on, so I'm comfortable here. I know when we do the other side, it's not going to be like that. So here we go. Good luck, Hades Omega. This could be a bitch to install sometimes. So the important thing is to start uh, from one end and then just work your way around, kind of like it's like it's, it's almost like installing the piston ring. Try not to scratch it up too bad too. and how hard this will be on the bike. And I heard you definitely you want to keep tension on the, the clip or else it may just go flying. I should be wearing safety glasses right now. And try to get as close to the 12 o'clock position as possible. seems to be like you want to get it in the position that you want and then just compress it and just let it walk its way in. <clears throat> yeah, this is tough. It wasn't so hard getting it out, but...
kind of got it in there in a weird angle and try to finagle it so it goes in the groove. Okay, get one side in, the other side's in. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so I kind of what I kind of did is I compressed both of them, and I let it out, and then you just got to make sure it doesn't it's properly seated in there. Does look like it's properly seated. Yep. All right. There we go. That wasn't so hard. And so you can see the opening is at 12 o'clock, maybe a little less than 12 o'clock, 11:30. It was kind of hard to get it in there. So I'm not gonna lie. It's you gotta put you gotta put a, a decent amount of pressure on the clip. Um, it was a little different than uh, I had uh, researched. <laughs> So, so like I said, uh, uh, they said to do it like the piston ring, kind of like put it on one end and then just walk it, walk your way around. But I kind of did it the opposite. I, I put one end in first and then I compressed the other end until the other end would close. And then I pushed it in with the, with the screwdriver into the groove and then, and then it just went pop right in there. So hopefully that'll do the trick. All right. Now what we want to do uh, is oil the, the, the wrist pin. Uh, so yeah, so we got one of them in. And uh, so that means we can put the pin in from one side. And then, uh, and then yeah, and then, and then we put it on the connecting rod. So this doesn't seem like to want to install so easily. What's up with that? Seems like it's way too big. Okay, anyway, let's get some oil on it. All right, we just got some plain Jane Chevron uh, motor oil here. Just gonna coat that wrist pin. With that. See if it slides in. Probably want to coat the inner surfaces too. Well, let me do my let me do my pinky. <laughs> go some oil up in there okay let's get the excess oil off okay now we wanna... okay there we go it goes in nicely all right so should be good to go so she's all lubed up and so we'll double check the rings before we put the cylinder on um, just in case we clock them right. All right, so we're gonna go head over to the bike now and and do it. We're gonna go install the piston. Uh, let's go over. Uh, to I'm actually to really excited about this part because, uh, like I said, the most the most tedious part of engine work or uh, you know engine build rebuilding and stuff is is cleaning parts. It's just the one part I hate the most. But putting them together after everything's nice and clean, that's the fun part. <laughs> um, all right, so so when installing the piston ring, okay. Um, it says to install, so we install all the, the the piston rings and stuff already, so we're not going to go over that. I already did a whole video on that, so check that out if you want to figure out figure how that went. But we will reclock all the piston rings when before we put the cylinder on. So it says install the, da okay, it doesn't say to just put the piston it in. It actually there. doesn't tell you how to install it at all. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't tell you how to, it just says in, just reinstall it pretty much. So so yeah okay well we're just gonna do it the way uh do the opposite way that we we uh we installed it okay he's right here and uh, so we're just gonna if you remember in the book uh, you you should make sure that the connecting rod connecting rod opening has oil on it I'm pretty sure it has oil from when we installed it I will go add a little extra um, so what I've done is I put a rag here so just in case the snap ring falls down. Um, it won't. Uh, it won't fall into the the abyss. Is what I'm gonna say. So, and it's not wanting to stay back. It's being a little dork. Okay, so I got some more oil on my pinky here. We're gonna go add a little oil to it. All right. So we're gonna 
do is, uh, so here we got the piston. I got the wrist pin in there just enough where the, the connecting rod will go through it on the bottom, as you can see. And it says exhaust on this side. So you're going to want to install it that away, this away. So, all right, here it goes. Let's go just slide that puppy onto there. Might help to look at the other side. Oh, there we go. Okay, piece of cake. All right, that was it. Pretty easy. Now we got to install the the left okay, snap. Here we go. Ring. Wish me luck. I'm gonna install the second uh, second ring snap ring. So we're just gonna do it the same way we did it before. Oh, whoa, almost dropped it, see? Yeah, see, it's a lot harder doing it when it's on the bike. <laughs> I can't really see what I'm doing, actually. It's, what's going on here? I know I want to angle it towards like the one o'clock because I have to. Okay, you just saw me do it, right? <laughs> okay, it was a real pain in the ass to do this side, man. It's just because I kind of get... So I had to do it the opposite. So on for the other side, I started from the left. This time I started from the right, and I put it in around the 12 or 1 o'clock position. Um, let me see where we got it. Boy, we're like it then. We're almost at, we're like at 11, 12 right here. Uh, let me go, let me go my phone okay. real quick. So I hope we installed it right. Exhaust this way. Um, so yeah, that was tough. Uh, it was tougher than the other side. I had to start with the, um, uh, the part that we put in first was on the right side this time. On the last time it was left side, so I, I don't know. I guess it's, it's because the starter's kind of in the way here, it's kind of hard to work in that position. So I did it from the right. Um, and then it worked. Uh, I did it the same exact way I did it the other way. I kind of worked the the side that was closest in first, and then um, and then I tried to compress the other side until it met up with the hole right here. And then uh, and then I used a screwdriver to to push it the rest of the way, and it just kind of just whoop, it just kind of just slides into place by itself. It was like all one one kind of motion. It just went click, and I, and there we go. So I don't think that's coming off. Um, what I might want to do is push down on the on the ring to make sure it's properly seated, you know. But I think that's good. I don't think that's going anywhere. There's like pieces of my fingernail in there and stuff. So yeah, it takes up a lot. It takes a lot of force to get that in there. Uh, but yeah, so there it is. It's installed. Um, so the while it's on the bike, it's a lot harder, especially since the bike is lower. If you can get the bike high, at a higher higher height um, it'll be easier to work on but yeah it's just I couldn't see anything because you the 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 ring land the piston part this part right here is like kind of blocking it it's a lot easier outside the bike I tell you. and I think I moved I felt the connecting rod go down a little bit so I think I moved the crankshaft so I'm gonna have to re redo that um, boy, where did it go well I felt it go I felt it go down so I want to I might want to just tug up on it. It might go up. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so what I'll do to correct it is um, I'll pull on the chain so so it's tight, 
and then I'll move the crankshaft back into top dead center position. All right, so piston ring installed. So I hope the I hope that video helped people out. It's it's pretty difficult, man. It's you're working in a really small space and it's really small, um, crisp pin and everything. Um, outside the bike was pretty easy. Um, on the bike, not too easy. <laughs> so I'd say it's like double the difficulty. <laughs> um, and you definitely want to have uh, you definitely want to have um, a rag like I mentioned because I dropped it a couple times and I could have lost it so definitely want it like this alright so uh, piston ring installed let's make out